Hey there, Geeks. Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to look at how you can use the Windows Software Licensing Management Tool to view, install, uninstall, activate, or even extend your Windows license. It doesn't work as much with Windows 10 anymore because you can install Windows 10 without a key and use it without personalizing. But if you ever need to install or remove a key in Windows 10, 8, or 7, here's what we need to do. One of the things you're going to want to know is we're going to use PowerShell and we call it SLMGR that's going to be what they call a command so you have a command you have a parameter Windows 7 on the other hand we're gonna to have to open up command prompt start all programs accessories right click on command prompt and run as administrator and we'll just show you while we're in Windows 7 Sometimes you can control V paste, sometimes you can't. So we can type in SLMGR, we know that's a valid command. Press enter and up will come your parameters. Everything from how to use it remotely to a bunch of things we're about to show you now. And for the most part, almost everything you want to use the average users on the first page or two. And then it'll keep going until it's done. Let's go back to Windows 10. Now that you know how that works. You can get your license information. So once again, you can highlight something, right click and copy, and let's just stick to basic license information. So in Windows 10, you can use the Windows key plus X and click on Windows PowerShell admin and use control V to enter whatever you copied and paste and press enter. And there's your information. Now we know it's licensed retail channel etc once again Windows 7 now it's working and I won't bounce back and forth here too too much almost identical so sometimes you'll have to you know type it out so don't forget that so there is your information on that let's see where we're at uninstall once again handy maybe if you're throwing your computer out or giving it away and you don't you want to keep your key for whatever reason nowadays most stuff is embedded into the BIOS so your Windows key is tied to your computer and this is for the most part pointless however older operating systems you can do this and use this line right here that will remove your license from Windows and then you're gonna to need to repeat and do this line because your license is also in your registry and then it's completely gone so that gives the opportunity now it's uninstalled to install a different key if you need to so let's take a look here if you do decide to install a key or try to maybe Windows 7 or 8 by removing it and putting it on another computer you're pretty much gonna have to call Microsoft and claim you changed your motherboard or something and you can do that with this phone number or press the Windows key plus R and put this in right here and that will bring up one of these pages to walk you through it step by step once you've done that and we'll repeat this down below you will have to type in this right here copy and paste up to the ATP and then change the activation ID to whatever activation ID you had so now to install a key very similar we'll highlight this paste it but then you're gonna to need to know your key and you're gonna to have to type it in and once you've got that completed that will activate that's actually pretty easy to do I'm sorry it will install it so once you've installed it then you need to activate it there we go so same thing kind of you have online or offline I don't know why we would use offline but we left the information here if you do activate offline you're gonna have to do exactly what we just watched us discuss you're gonna have to either call them or you can run that slui.exe space four either way and then you're gonna have to come back in and then you're gonna to have to activate it afterwards so the way to go is right here if you're online copy and stick that into the command prompt or PowerShell and off you go so now you can extend it but again as we discussed earlier Windows 10 it doesn't matter how long you extend it cause it's not gonna have any value to you. let me show you I think they have a thousand and one is the number of um, times that you can extend so what this is gonna do is it uses the rearm command basically is what they call it and that means how many times you can rearm Windows it basically sets it back from however far into the trial restarts to 30 days all over again 
So let's take a look. And as you can see, I have a thousand and one rearm counts. Since I plan to use zero, I'll probably always have a thousand and one. So most Windows 10 users will see that. Whereas Windows 7, I got to remember it, right? SLM, GR, VBS, DLV. Let's try it. I forgot already. What was it, DLV? Oh, it's not typing anything. Good job. Great video, man. Good job. VBS. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go look again. DLV. DLV. Now you see a difference on this one. And that's going to be probably three. There it is right there. Windows 2008, you might have five. But most of you are going to find that you have three. So as you can see, the time remaining. And you, you can kind of watch it. And if when you get down to like 29 days, you can rearm it and get three months out of it. So that'll be about all you need to see on Windows 7. There's not too much different over there. And we're about out of here. The last thing you need to know is remote computers. Basically, you're kind of familiar with SLMGR now. The only difference is you're going to start with SLMGR.VBS. At the end, you're going to put forward slash whatever you want. Forward slash ATO, forward slash IPK. Doesn't matter. But what does matter is what's in the middle. So it's slmgr.vbs space, the computer name, the username, the password with a space between each, a final space, a forward slash, and then go ahead and use whatever one of these things you need to use at the end. So basically, anything you see here, you just got to stick the username, the computer name, the username, password in the middle. There you go. Pretty easy to do. Hopefully it still helps somebody out. Like We don't use it as much anymore on Windows 10, but... Going into 2020, the Windows 7 expiring, some people might be able to get a key working and upgrade to 10 still, etc. So hopefully it helped you out. Thanks for all the likes. Feel free to click subscribe. We'd appreciate that. And hopefully we'll see you next time.